Hello, today I would like to show you how to fix the backup battery on this military grade PDA. What's the problem if we power on the unit? If we go to the battery settings, as you can see the main battery have a 100% bar, but the backup battery is not charging, it shows constantly zero and it's dead it's just basically dead and we have to replace it so let's take a look how to how to do it first thing first we are going to remove the primary battery this is the main battery pack and absolutely do not worry i'm going to make a in-depth review of this device but today we are just going to make it 100% operational, so I'm going to be able to take it into the field. The disassembly process is really straightforward. There is a bunch of screw that have to be removed. And we are going to do exactly this. That scroll have a different thread so we are going to swap this and of course I already open it like a uh, two months ago because I was getting the measurements for the replacement battery so this is not the first time when I'm opening it Okay, and now it's going to be uh, very nicely possible to open. There will be a sandwich, as you can see. Very nice in form of a repair, because we've got this pin header that is joining this two piece of element of the case. And there is uh, one plug that we can undo and we've got a uh, bolt bar separated. So as we are inside, let's take a look just in case you will be interested. So here is the battery port. Those are the connectors very nicely that's an absolutely great build they didn't as you can see we've got the usb ports and they are enclosed in that area and we've got a flex cable so they are going to never put any stress on a pcb but they are completely sealed so one of the main reason that a phone manufacturer was telling you that you cannot have that type of ports because they preventing you from being waterproof but they found a way and they enclosed the they looks like a standard high sport on a piece of pcb but we've got this small enclave that is completely completely divided and disconnected and not epoxy but a silicone I love that design and we've got a flex cable here same thing that looks like a two and a half mil audio connector most likely 100% standard connector in its own enclave they encapsulated the standard port just what the phone manufacturer are telling you you cannot have because it's not going to be waterproof no problem they've got of course enough room to do that it is enclosed it's sealed and we've got a flex cable here we've got a microphone and here is going to be a speaker because if you use it like a, for for talking you are hearing here and you've got the microphone here so looking absolutely great 
and this is a DC charging connector. And yeah, very nice build quality. And let's see at the other part. So of course the antenna is not fake and they are real. We got the expansion port with the GPS antenna and serial port. And this is our battery. The SIM slot. We got the NVIDIA GeForce. So let's take a look at the, the battery. Let's disconnect it from the board. And now we have to pry this because it's going to be glue. I'm wondering, am I going to need to lift this Bluetooth board? Looks like I'm going to have... I think I could do it without... But it is such a unique device that I'm not going to take any chance. Do we have a screw under? It should disconnect. And yes, it does. So here we've got our radio module. And our battery. And if you take a look at the battery... I know that's, that's not looking professional. If you take a look at the battery, let's compare those two batteries. And those numbers are not random. Those numbers are going to tell you the dimension of the battery, of the cell. And you can Google that up and get exactly the same replacement. But you can be smart. And if that's not an option, or if... A exactly the same replacement is very pricey you can buy something similar smaller or bigger depending on the room that you've got and if you are going to stay in like a safety range of five ten percent that's not going to affect the charging circuitry and it's not going to explode and burn hopefully so like 10% is the ballpark range that I would say it's uh, quite safe. So here we've got a 40 millimeter, 11 millimeter, I've got 10, 30, 30. And this is how it looks like. So we are going to get a perfect spot for this cell. As you can see, it's protected. We've got the circuitry. And I can see that we still got some glue that is going to hold in place. And we are going to have an absolutely perfect fix. As you can see, we've got a perfectly soldered our battery. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to route it under that connector and put into the place. There is still some glue, so it's not going to rattle. Absolutely do not worry about that. We are going to put our Bluetooth module.
and yes it's nicely fitted i have to make sure that we've got a good match perfectly this is the best screwdriver the best purchase i ever made so we've got our battery it's neatly routed under that connector and we should be good to go we are going to connect the power and they are made together and we can close everything our sandwich okay this should be more than enough to held it in place let's put our battery lock it and this is the moment of truth moment of truth whether we've got a good fix or we doesn't so let's take a look will it end up in a good fix that's the question because that battery is totally dead and I'm pretty sure it's going to be working it must work it must work I do not accept other answer and yes we've got it we've got a 100% so we've got a good fix so thank you very much for watching I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.